Hey everyone, so this particular uh, tutorial is inspired by Carly Red. If you guys watch Love and Hip Hop, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. She's the chick that's, um, she's Trinidadian born, so basically <laughs> Caribbean massive right now. And she is dating Benzino, if you follow with Love and Hip Hop. And I just really like her look. She's normally uh, with a more neutral eye, a little smoky-ish or whatever. And I have hardly seen her with any lip color at all. I may have missed an episode or two um, while I was traveling, but I know from what I've seen, she hasn't done anything over the top or drastic. Her hair is always straight and fly. And I just, I really like her. I'm starting to like her a bit, um, even though I don't think Benzino is good for anyway rambling about the show and why is my rat tail come on my hand I don't know <laughs> but yeah I really wanted to do this inspired tutorial um I tried to just mesh together everything that I've seen from the episodes <laughs> all right you guys so this is my Carly Red inspired tutorial thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have enjoy the tutorial So I'm using NYX's Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and my eyelids have already been primed with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just placing Milk, just a little bit of it on my eyelid and blending that out with my finger. I'm not using too much of this because it does tend to crease if you use too much so it's just going on the lid. Next I'm using my Sedona Lace 28 Neutral Palette and the first color is more of a beige with some just a little gold shimmer in it not too much just something to brighten up the inner eye area next I'm taking this matte taupe color and that's going in the middle of my lid and next I'm taking a darker taupe color and that's going on the outer V next I'm taking more of a dark charcoal gray and I'm placing that in the outer V area as well This is also going to act as my crease color. I am taking a crease brush and just pulling that dark charcoal gray into my crease area. Very gently though, I don't want it to be too defined, but just to bring it into the crease area a bit. Using my Sigma E25, I'm just going to blend out that outer V only I'm not going into the crease area at all just blending on my outer V a little bit next I'm going to be using max carbon and that's going in my outer V just to darken it up a little bit back with my Sigma E 25 now I'm in the crease area just blending out any harsh lines for right now before I decide to add any more color Back into my Sedona Lace 28 palette, taking a peachy, uh, very light peachy color, and that's going to be my highlight color. And I'm just taking an angled eyeshadow brush and placing that into my upper brow bone and pulling this color down. I noticed by doing this technique that it helps me with blending my uh, crease color and outer V just a little bit and gives me a little bit more control when blending my colors. Now I'm going to be taking this dark brown and mixing it with that charcoal kind of grayish black color. And I'm just taking that crease brush and just smudging this on my lower lash line. I'm also going to take carbon again using my angled brush too. Lime Crime's top hat is going in my tear duct area just to brighten up the area. Taking a black pencil, lining my waterline. And now I'm using Perfect It, and this is supposed to be a lash perfection gel. I got this from Sephora. It's supposed to be like a mascara alternative. Um, I really like it. I've been trying it out for a while now, and it makes your lashes less crusty. Now I'm using Maybelline's Eye Studio. This is a gel eyeliner in black. It's black. Using my Sunya Cashew eyeliner brush, this is an angled brush, and it makes for better control when doing liners. As you can see, I just made a mistake. That's okay. I will clean that up in a little bit when I'm done. But I really like using this brush because I can keep my eyes open while I line. Next, my lashes are from FaulLashes.com, and I'm using the ones in Gaga. For my foundation, I'm using Max Match Master Foundation in a number 
7.5 that's my number and I'm gonna show you guys just how serious this foundation is in terms of the coverage you can see my acne scars and I just want you to watch them disappear I'm using my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush to apply this foundation And this is what my coverage looks like <laughs> once I'm done. No powder, just straight foundation, you guys. Next, I'm using Max Prep and Prime Highlighter and Radiant Rose. And I've already done that and contoured my face and all that stuff. My nose. Next, I'm using NYX's Espresso Lip Liner. I'm just going to be lining my lips with this. When I do my lower lips, I like to look down and tilt my head a little bit up so I can see the actual line that I'm tracing a little bit better. Just a tip there for you guys. Next using Wet n Wild's 902C lipstick. This is more of a nudie peach kind of lipstick. A little bit of this goes a long way and I'm just gonna be <laughs> blending this with that NYX Espresso lip liner for a more nude lip. Because I noticed Carly Red doesn't do much uh, matte lips, just using some NYX Clear Lip Gloss to shine up my lips a little bit. And for blush, I'm using Max Ring of Saturn. I'm really liking this blush. Very, very pretty blush. Very light application. And it doesn't like just poke out and be all obvious that you're wearing blush. Just a nice finish from this mineralized blush from the Heavenly Creatures collection. And there you have it beauty bunnies I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will see you guys in another video really soon uh, let me know what you think you guys okay thank you for watching and subscribing if you have bye